You finally got your camera dialed in the way you want to, and now you got three more cameras to deal with. Let's talk about how load camera settings you can get it exactly the way you want on every camera you have on your set. Most of us on sets are going to be running into situations where we have multiple cameras on the set at once that we need to get set up. And one thing that I find always a dangerous thing on set is if you set up one camera and there could be a camera on another over on another part of the set that's not set up right. It could be something as simple as the ISO being off or catastrophe maybe having a white balance issue. The one thing you want is once you get your camera set up, you want them to follow the same protocol so once you go in the editing room, your life is a lot easier. And luckily on the Canon, R5, R6, R5C, it's a very, very simple way to do it. I wanna show you how it goes. Let's go ahead and jump in the camera here and take a look at how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our settings menu over here, that's the yellow menu, and you're gonna come here to the fifth menu settings, and then you're gonna see save slash load camera settings on card. And what's great about this is you literally just hit OK, and it gives you an option to save to the card or load to the card. Now, if you've got this camera set up the way you want, then you just need to save to card. So all you do, save it. It's going to ask you to save it. You hit OK, and you're good to go. Now, all you have to do to get this thing up to the next stage is just pop out your card. If you come to another camera, you can just pop it in here. So now when you come back, all you have to do is come to Save, Load from Camera, come to load from card this time, and you're gonna see the file that you have, you just did. You hit the name, if you hit okay, it'll say busy, please wait, and then boom. You will see now all of the settings that you had on one camera exactly copied over to the second camera. And this means everything. This means your white balance, it means your ISO, it even means your aperture if you're actually on a Canon or somewhat or lens that can be read in the thing. All the aspects of this camera are set in here. And what I love about this too is if I'm getting rental gear and stuff, I set my Canons up and I like to have all the buttons personalized to me, and this means I can take this, put it in there, and put it away, and I know any camera I touch on set is gonna operate the exact same way. I find that to be extremely beneficial. And really, this is also great, too, because you can take this feature on other Canon cameras, and you can do this on Sony cameras as well, which means that if there's certain cameras you only rent every now and then, you can take these settings, know you have it, save it on a card, and when you get a rental camera, you can put a card in, and within two or three seconds, your camera's set up exactly the way you want. Anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Leave me any notes or comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon.